Parents and students are waging a campaign to keep the Long Island High School for the Arts open. This comes after the school superintendent said he'll recommend closing its doors because of a lack of student enrollment. TV 1055's Long Island Bureau Chief Richard Rose explains. Drama students rehearsed on stage for an upcoming performance despite hearing news of a possible program closure. The Syosset based Long Island School for the Arts and Sciences opened just two years ago, yet programs there now face either being shut down or transferred by the end of this school year. We have failed to meet budget for the last few years and by law we have to meet budget. Dr. Robert Dillon is superintendent of Nassau BOCES. He says the school has run up a two million dollar deficit because of classes that are only half filled. Dillon says the financial bleeding is in great part because tax squeeze school districts are reluctant to pay the $7,500 it costs them to enroll each student. It would break my heart. 15 year old art student Emma Bowden is among the students and parents outraged about the potential closure. They blame a lack of state funding and school districts not pushing to enroll students. The parents don't even know about it. And, and shame on those districts in Nassau County and Suffolk County that aren't taking advantage of it because of money. A Long Island representative for the State Board of Regents. Tells us that the regents are working on creating a pathway for high school graduation that will pretty much force the school districts to use the Long Island High School for the Arts. We don't want their hearts broken and we want their promises kept and their commitments held to. The closure recommendation will be made to the full Nassau BOCES board tomorrow night. In Nassau County, Richard Rose, TV 1055. Parents and students tell us they'll be out in force for the Nassau meeting tomorrow night in Garden City.